Do we go back in time? Hey everyone, Ben and Ob here, and Universal has a hotel for every budget. From the premier resorts at Hard Rock to the value options at Dockside and Surfside. Today we are at Universal's Cabana Bay Beach Resort to tell you all about this hotel, so that way when you plan your next family vacation, you know the right place to go. This place is fun for everyone. Okay, so Cabana Bay is kind of retro, if you get my drift already. It's a throwback, like you're in the 50s and 60s. There are bright colors and cool architecture all throughout the lobby, the interior, and everywhere you go. This is also the largest on-site hotel at Universal. There are 2,000 plus rooms here. It holds a lot of people, a lot of families, a lot of kids, and a lot of fun. We're gonna head on into the lobby, get checked into our room, show you around, and then uh, we'll go from there. As you enter the lobby, you're greeted by that mid-century theming. Bright colors, big windows, and they even have some retro cars out front. They have everything you'd come to expect from an on-site Universal Orlando Resort Hotel. Check-in, vacation planning, ticket help, and even a concierge. But there are even some additional benefits to this lobby at Cabana Bay. You have the Swizzle Lounge, and you also have a bowling alley that is very unique and very fun for families. Something we'll definitely have to check out as we bring you along for our tour. One of my favorite things about this hotel already is the bright colors as well as the music. You guys might not be able to hear it on here, but it is some old throwback tunes and I'm singing along to every single one of them. So we've checked in, we're moseying through the lobby. Of course there's a Starbucks, so I definitely took a peek and Ben has been perusing the gift shop. However, we're checked in now. It's time for us to go take a look at our room. And I think we got an upgrade. are in a family suite, which is pretty neat. Uh, this is our second time staying at Cabana Bay and the pricing just worked out. We do not normally go for these bigger rooms, but oh my gosh, it's so cool. So I'm sitting in like the living room area. Currently there's a nice little kitchenette space with a small sink and a microwave and a, a bit bigger mini fridge. It's still a mini fridge, don't get me wrong, but it's larger. Like we've got plenty of room for items. Let's go check out the rest of this room and I'm gonna show you around, tell you a little bit more about it. Like, this is pretty darn neat. It, the, I don't even know what to say, this is so cool. The living room has a like section area and you can open this door and now we're already in the two queen bedroom space. And the best part about this room is the toilet area is separate and there's two sinks and then you have the shower space. So, Big John, whenever we bring you back to Universal with us, we might need to stay at one of these spaces because we'll all have a little more room. You get the pull-out bed in the living room. Everything's in our room. Let's go check out some of the other exciting amenities at this hotel. This hotel is huge. We're standing on the balcony overlooking one of the many pools here. And so we're just gonna make our way from one end of the hotel all the way to the other until we run into Volcano Bay and see all of the amenities that this place has to offer. The first option for cooling off at Cabana Bay is the Cabana Bay Courtyard. It has a hundred foot long slide into the pool. Note that that is not a diving structure. It just looks like one. You don't get a jump off of it as much as you'd like to. And then also we have the Atomic Grill, which is right behind us, um, as well as Atomic Tonic. If you're looking for a little bit of a drink next to the pool, they've got you covered. This place is pretty darn neat. It is huge and it's not the only pool at this hotel. We're gonna keep making our way through. That atomic grill is calling my name, but at least we just ate lunch. Plus, there's something more exciting that I might need as a snack later. 
The second amenity that I want to point out is the Swizzle Lounge right behind me. If you're looking for a good drink, you want to get the Swizzle Punch. It sounds fantastic, but Ben says it's a little early in the day for me to grab a drink right now. We'll have to grab one later. If you want a drink at the Atomic Tonic, grab yourself an Atomic Tonic, by the way. We were told that it is absolutely delicious. Of all the amenities, one of the most important at Cabana Bay is Starbucks. Caffeine. Caffeine is life. But if you want a little bit different opportunity, Cabana Bay has it for you. And that is Galaxy Bowl. When is the last time you stayed at a hotel that had a bowling alley? Bowling is not my thing. But the you know game what it room, is? the game room might hey. be more my style. This game room is one of the best that I have seen at any of the Universal hotels. There are so many options, and I'd say it's at least twice the size. Cabana Bay is doing it right for the kids. The next place we gotta stop with looking at all of these amenities. I have a question for you, Ben. Yes. Do you know who Jack LaLanne is? Fitness. All this exercising builds up quite the hunger. What does Cabana Bay have for restaurants? To the Bay Liner Diner. It's just as great as it is fun to say. Main Liner Diner at Cabana Bay is your go-to for cafeteria style food where you get to grab it, bring it down to the dining area, and then go. There are burgers, there are pizzas, there are international options and sandwiches. There is really something for every single palate. I even watched a lady specially order a sandwich today because she needed a custom option for her. They help provide options for everyone here at Cabana Bay. My favorite area within this space though is not the Bayliner Diner. Hey Ben, can we get some ice cream? After a long day at the parks, there's really nothing better than coming back to Cabana Bay and getting a shake or a malt. It's one heck of a nightcap. You're getting something good. The banana pudding, but this time we're gonna do it in milkshake form because we've never had that. This is why you come to Cabana Bay. We are officially on the other side of Cabana Bay now. We've made our way from one end to the other. This is the Lazy River Courtyard. We have sandy beaches, hangout areas, a pool, and a lazy river. Additionally, on this side of the hotel, you have Volcano Bay, which if you're staying at Cabana Bay, you get a private entrance. We got to go over there today and experience it. It was so cool. I felt like a VIP. Now, they're doing a little bit of construction work at the hideaway, which is the bar and grill out at this pool location. So we can't show you that. We can go walk around the pool and let you see what the lazy river looks like. The lazy river courtyards pool is not quite as big as the atomic courtyards. So you might need to be a little more strategic if it's a busy time at Cabana Bay of what pool you want to play in. Why would somebody want to stay at Cabana Bay? I think we've been raving about it throughout this entire shoot. There's a couple reasons. One, if you're just not really that into hanging out around a lot of families with a lot of kids, this might not be the place for you. During the busy season, this is the biggest hotel on Universal property. Over 2,000 rooms. Now you add in a lot of families, a lot of kiddos, it's gonna get Busy, loud, maybe a little obnoxious. It's a hotel that spreads people out really well. 
But if that's just not your jam, this might not be the right place that fits best for you. Two, this hotel is located a bit further away from the parks. It is across the street from Adventura in Sapphire Falls, but it's not easily accessible to go jump on a water taxi. Your options are shuttle or walk, and the walk takes about 15 minutes. So if you're not really that avid of a walker or you don't wanna take the shuttles, well, maybe you look at an option that's a little bit closer. As far as that goes, pricing is decent here. Uh, it is not the cheapest hotel, but it's definitely not gonna run you up there in the premier category by any means. If you're looking for an option that fits well for a family, a fun time of bowling, and also sometimes they do some specialty occasions here for HHN, um, this is a great hotel to come and stay at. We really enjoy the pools, the proximity to Volcano Bay, the malt shop, like I will have us book Cabana Bay again. I'm a big fan. Let's see what Ben thinks. I would say at this point, I like Cabana Bay better than Aventura actually, but I want to asterisk that because I agree with the sentiment that if it is busy, this place could become a madhouse. It's not that busy today and it wasn't that busy the first time we stayed here. But during those summer seasons, I bet bay liners packed, I bet the pools are packed. I bet it gets pretty loud up in here. <laughs> but I agree with the sentiment that we will stay here again when we're trying to save a little bit of money and we don't feel like splurging at Sapphire Falls or one of the premieres. Especially when we're talking price comparison, just for reference, we paid about $100 less in total for a family suite here at Cabana Bay than we would have at a standard room at Sapphire Falls for the same four nights. Just food for thought when you're booking your next Universal Orlando adventure. If you got anything out of this video, please subscribe to our Patreon. We think we have a ton of exclusive content that you'll enjoy over there. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.